This story comes to us from longtime listener, first time caller, Fuji. You know people always want to build a better mousetrap, whether for wealth or the ongoing advancement of humanity. Not sure where this one fits. Beetle Robotics wants to provide best-in-class robots using its expertise in cloud networking, computer vision, and mechanical design. So naturally, they turn to poop scooping. According to Beetle, more than 35 million households in the US have dogs and backyards. The team designed a robot that uses computer vision and advanced sensor fusion to clean up after them. And if it works, I mean, well, I mean, well, that's one hell of a market. The Beetle seems to work similar to a Roomba robotic vacuum cleaner. It deploys from a base and patrols a virtual map of the yard. Beetle finds the mess, deploys a clamshaw jaw to clasp it, and then a trimmer to cut any grass, you know, that's coming along for the ride or otherwise stuck. It also uses cloud-based AI to adapt and learn from each scoop. Because you know, no two scoops are ever the same. I don't know, I still say that if you can't clean up after it, you probably shouldn't have the dog. But maybe I finally aged into common sense. Thanks for the tip, Fuji. Send my love to the family. La Medusa Luna. A team of researchers from the Chinese Academy of Sciences has created a robot jellyfish. When asked why they chose to tackle the jellyfish, they responded, mm. Jellyfish are some of the most efficient swimmers in the planet. While they're not that fast, they move through the water by creating a natural jet propulsion. The researchers developed the robot as a first step towards a bio-inspired underwater vehicle that mimics the propulsion. Specifically, the researchers mimicked Aurelia Orita, commonly called the moon jellyfish, or La Medusa Luna. As you can see from the video, the robot can maneuver vertically and horizontally using similar propulsion created by the cylindrical bell-shaped bodies. Jellyfish have been known as inefficient swimmers in the past, but you know, they're more of like a methodical than an inefficient or lazy. They use very little energy to get going, and this could be a critical feature for future untethered underwater vehicles. Using a combination of the latest in mechatronic design, materials, electronics, and control methods, the researchers created smart actuators to replicate the jellyfish movement. Previous robot jellyfish have been tethered, and I mean, as you can imagine, Underwater vehicles are kind of limited when they can't swim freely. Like the moon jellyfish, the robot has a large displacement in order to move a large load capacity. The robot is about five and a half inches tall, weighs about 18 pounds, and has a similar shape. As I said before, it has a bell-shaped rigid head, a cylindrical main cavity, and a soft rubber skin. The robot can actually move up and down by adjusting two clump weights in the head. Next, the researchers are working on making the robot more maneuverable and autonomous, using AI to learn from its time in the water. I mean, at least this thing won't sting you. I mean, I mean, maybe it'll shock you if the electronics go bad. I mean, either way, you should probably pee on it. La Medusa Luna. We have seen our share of exotic, interesting, and sad motorcycles over the last few years, but French manufacturer Neuron has brought something new to the table with an electric motorcycle that has a large cylindrical battery and a wooden body. The story of Neuron Motors has been one of fits and starts. Sebastian Mott is an electronic engineer by trade and the man behind the concept motorcycle. He's dreamed of designing an all-electric motorcycle since he was a child, but until recently, it seemed unlikely that it would ever become a reality. Officially, Neuron Motors was founded in 2016. Shortly thereafter, the company met the design team at Dassault Systems at an incubator and used Dassault's 3D experience platform to collaborate on prototypes, sketching, and design validation. Well, the money ran out at the incubator and Neuron has now turned to the Advance Group. The company is now working with Elsys Design, a division of the Advance Group that specializes in embedded systems. Elsys is working on a test bench for Neuron's wood-wrapped electric motorcycle and also plans to collaborate on the control and communication interface components. The company is now on its second prototype and one interesting feature will allow riders to set their destination in the GPS and allow the motorcycle to configure the most efficient power usage for the trip. The bike will also connect to a smartphone app that will help owners perform predictive maintenance. Neuron's plans are ambitious. The company hopes to produce 12 road certified motorcycles in 2020 before ramping up production to commercialization in 2021. While the production goals seem aggressive, if not a long shot, 
Seems that little will prevent Sebastian Mott from realizing his dream. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.